you want to call yourself so-called woke, I believe you need to see this movie. What's cracking, pimpin' kid? I am Entrepreneur Basin Mental. My real name is Epps. And this is my review on Nate Parker's American Skin. First off, Nate Parker, you did an amazing job. Amazing. This was like the hate you give, but on another level. And extremely personal for me. This is a movie I, I haven't felt this way about in a long time. I literally just finished it and I'm crying. I'm crying because if you've watched any of my Black Lives Matter playlists, my videos on the police brutality, black lives, trans lives, all of that, this movie sums it all up. Like, this movie, Lincoln. And it just hit me that he named the main father, Lincoln, who was supposedly the president that helped black people. Suppose, when if anyone recognizes what happened with Lincoln, it was an economic stunt. It was not a form of helping. It was to help someone win a war. It was not to actually free people. Like... An ex-military man comes home struggling to live. That's what pisses me off about the military in America already. Then not too long after being home, he busts his ass to get a job to put his son into better schools and the college. That is literally my parents' life. My father served in Desert Storm and if I'm not wrong, so did my mom. My father, ex-army, my mom, ex-marine. And they had to do the same thing when they came home. And not too long after being home, his son ends up dead by a cop who's essentially a lower-ranked military, a military uh, employee. That's how I've always seen the police, lower-ranked military. And he kills his son because he assumed he was armed after being repeatedly told he had a cell phone. And it is what, and the son was knowledgeable in everything that involves everything happening to black people with the law. He did have the right to have his cell phone. He had the right to refuse the officer. He had all those rights and he still ended up dead because the officer ended up scared. Because they got to deal with a lot of shit and hearing some of the things that I hear officers deal with that at my job at the fuel station I know their jobs are hard and being a civilian is just as hard and all black people want people to realize is we've had it harder that's it. We don't want to be special. We don't want to be put on a pet. We just want y'all to recognize that this country fucked us up genuinely. And y'all can't even admit it. Like, so he basically, after finding out his son lost his case, just like Breonna Taylor, just like so many others, he takes actions into his own hands. And something in my something in me deep registered when he was talking to his ex-wife, and he was saying, "Why is it every time something happens to us, we have to take the peaceful route, but any time anyone else does it." 
They riot, they loot, they destroy, and they don't get the same titles. They don't get the same blame. And all of it and everything that they've been through is valid. Racism is an excuse. Slavery, an excuse we need to get over. Sexism is an excuse you can say we need to get over. But it's present and it's, it's there. You can't ignore it. And you know it's there. Women know it's there. And then everyone is doing nothing about it. Everyone. So he basically gets control of the station that the officer works at and turns it into a courtroom. And this was dope to me. He even let the people in jail have a voice. Everyone from the most obscene job to the chief of police was in that room. And it's all being controlled by an ex-military man who just wanted justice and closure for his son. And everything comes out. I mean everything. They did a play on uh, Blue Lives Matter with Back to Back the Blue. They did a play on Black Lives Matter and Freddie Gray, Breonna Taylor, uh, uh, George Floyd, and so many others that I, the names are like flooding my head right now. Even my own cousin. I have a cousin, two cousins. One who was wrongly accused and lost a decade of his life. Another who's dead because of the black on black crime. But no one talks about the white on white crime. The Asian on Asian crime. Why is our crime the only one that's so important? But all of them doing crime. Why are we not in jail equally? Like, and basically, all of the, everything comes out. Everything comes out in this, in this, in, I would say, an official court. And you leave, you stay on the edge of your seat. Because I thought Lincoln was going to kill the officer, Michael. I, for sure, I was for sure he was going to kill him. Because I've had those feelings about friends of mine who are dead. And it's not necessarily because I'm an officer. And I've wanted to do something about it. But I feel powerless. And I'm, and it's on my heart, I'm going to say it. With this feminine movement thing, it's powerful, it's needed, I get it. But y'all are fucking over men completely. Y'all don't care about us at all. And it's so hard to grasp onto being something for someone who no one gives a shit about. Like, I've always, I, I, I don't want to feel this way anymore. So I'm going to say it. I've always felt like being a black male in America meant you were only worth the dollar you earned. After that, you were no more important than the piss you see on the street. I've always felt like being a black male in this country, coming to realize what I have realized, you are literally no more important than the shit that comes out your ass. And it sucks to feel that way. I'm aiming to own my own business. I'm an artist. I, I'm from trying to upload, not trying, I'm going to get my website together, uh, stab, put more art out there. You've seen my videos on, on dreams, like, it's so hard to push past this feeling of I gotta do this when it feels like the rest of the world is telling me it's not gonna matter in the long run my skin ain't gonna mean a damn thing by the time I'm gone so the movie continues and he's letting everyone go his own uncle was shot 
trying to be nice to an officer who literally betrayed his kindness right then and there. But they continue on. The jury finds him guilty. And he even makes him call his wife and child to say he's not coming home. He actually had a chance to say goodbye that Lincoln's character didn't get. His mom, Kajani's mom, his son, did not get that chance to say goodbye, to watch him live a full life. And I for sure thought he was going to pull the trigger. And he did. But the gun wasn't loaded. And his entire plan the whole time was just to get closure and justice for his son. Everyone's point was heard. I do wish the feminine point was pushed a bit more when the Latina woman spoke up about sexism and, and, and all of that. When it was just refuted and it's supposedly being different than racism. And it's the same thing. And at the end, everyone was let go. No one hurt except his own uncle and his brother who had cancer. No one was hurt. On the way out, everyone's in front of him. Even the camera crew was recording a whole documentary, which was a group of kids in school. And I love that the, the, the boy who was in charge of that group was seemingly the only person in that entire room who had an experience of both. What it was like to watch someone get locked up and to be the family member of someone who has to do the job. I have an uncle in the police force. Now I'm scared to death of my uncle's life and my own life and my brother's lives and my sister's lives. Like, to have him point that out and why I don't even watch the news. When his voice spoke, like when he said what he said about being tired of seeing another black boy black girl killed by the police killed by your own people for nothing it hit home because it's how I feel and after they said the officer was guilty he let everyone go including the officer and the entire reaction that was there of everything happening right in front of them is the same reaction you get in the court. Everyone was trying to defend this officer's life. All the officers, no. And then everyone in the jury is, no, don't do this. It's, it's not right. You're going to destroy yourself. And I wish I could elaborate into what the jury was saying in deliberation. But that... Like... This, mm, and after all of that, the dust settled, he let everyone go, and it irks my soul. No officer said to him, I am sorry for the loss of your son. None of them, except Michael, who offered to be his shield on the way out. And I knew from the second those snipers were set up, he was going to die. I didn't want to believe it. I thought he was going to get away. I thought some sort of justice would have been served. He made it home. Even his ex-wife was like, I want you to come home. I, you're the only piece of my son I have left. To me, that, that's, a whole different, that's a whole different conversation, a different type of petty. To me, part of that was selfish. But I understand when you're black out here, the only the main thing parents worry about, especially black parents, is you coming home safe. Coming home. Do everything you can to get home. I, I understand why she said it now. I understand why my parents said it even more for the longest amount of time when I was in college. The first time I got pulled over and I was scared to death for a tail light. Like, when I saw what, at the end of the movie, is why I'm so upset. And it somehow turned into him having PTSD 
from him serving in the military. But everyone seemed to all of a sudden forget he had a son who was unjustifiably killed. And right behind that promoted another black boy playing basketball. And no one sees no horror in the system. Are you fucking kidding me? Watch American Skin. If you're... If you feel like you're not heard, if you feel like you're confused on Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, look at, look at American Skin. Nate Parker, I'm sorry, a lot of the names of the cast escape me. I recognize a lot of the people. But Nate Parker hit, he, he, you can tell he did a lot of research. And if I'm not wrong, he even used part of the recent riots in the footage of the movie. The riots that happened just last year. And now black people got to be not scared, but now we got to have our guard up even more because of the white supremacists who did what they did at the Capitol and got away with it. Now the people are got to send out warnings to everyone of color because now white supremacists because of Trump's idiocracy is are targeting people now. No one, how do you miss it? How do you miss it? And then you argue for this shit? Like how? If this video don't get monetized, I don't care. This movie is the argument. This movie is the, this movie isn't the, this movie is real. I can't tell you how many times I've met and talked to people. Latina, black, all of the above, who felt the same way he did about something that was wrongly done to someone in a trial that they knew. They wanted to do the same thing. But I know a lot of them would have killed the officer. I have a brother in the military. Like... If you really want to understand what it's like to have American skin and still be killed for it, you need to see American Skin by Nate Parker. He, he gives everyone a voice, in my opinion, in this movie. I do wish he gave more, he gave women a bigger voice. Because when the Latina woman spoke up, the Latina officer, they, they touched on sexism, but of course that probably would have made the conversation go a lot deeper. I do wish they had more behind that. Because it definitely needed to be stated. I, I just... American Skin. Five out of five for me. It's been a minute since I've seen a movie that made me cry. It's been a minute since I've seen a movie that hit this far home for me. And it wasn't a stretch. It was like right there. I, I was even... I was going to upload a new series of Amalgamites today, but... All I'm uploading today is American Skin Movie Review because I bought it on YouTube. I will have the link below to the video so you can check it out. Like, if seeing this is, em is empowering to to see this story for the world to see what's been happening in the last year and all the arguments to support the bullshit behind it like this is probably going to be one of the longest reviews I've done since the review on Black Panther but this movie you need to watch it if, if you've had any problems dealing with Black Lives Matter the, 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 any of this white supremacy, this movie, this movie quite literally lays out the truth. It lays out all sides. Like,
Nate Parker. I honestly hope you get an Emmy or an Oscar or you get something from the Essence Awards. You get something from your people acknowledging you for this movie because it is beautiful. It took the truth, it took what's happening right now, and it seemed to take everything into perspective within an hour and a half. <laughs> the ending of the movie hurt me the most. And he was going to, ex he was well aware what was going to happen to him. And I can't help but wish he got home to his ex-wife. I can't help but wish Kajani didn't die. And this is a movie. And I'm feeling like this. I felt the same way when I lost my cousin. I felt the same way when I lost some friends that I grew up with in the neighborhood. Like... This movie, you need to see. I think that's it. Um, I'm your favorite entrepreneur, Basic Mental. My real name is Epps. If you can't see what I'm talking about at this point, just stop following me. Because you won't. Even it even pointed out the problem with hip hop. And with people being authentic. And I love hip hop. But to live an authentic life, you gotta go through it. And they, they pointed out that the kids are trying to live like the lyrics. Because that's where they believe they got to get the, the creativity and the artistry from. They believe they have to be that to get what it seems like the other side has. They even addressed education. If you want to call yourself aware of what's going on, black, white, what have you, watch this movie. Watch Watch, really pay attention, really listen to what is being said. Really whist, listen to how people and their arguments and even some of their conversations are being completely ignored because of what they think is right. Oh, I'm sorry, I was supposed to end the video. Um. I am your favorite entrepreneur, Basic Mental. My real name is Epps. This has been my review on American Skin. Mr. Nate Parker, you deserve something for this movie. To me, this movie was all truth. All of it. I appreciate you for this video, I mean for your, your movie, your contribution to society and how you choose to bring it to life with your, with your movies. Birth of a Nation was just as good. It more so had me on my seat because it was a bit more action-y I think, but to see this, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna keep going for my dream but thank you for making a young man thank you for letting a young black man's voice be heard because unfortunately I feel like there, a lot of the world is going to ignore it so thank you Mr. Nate Parker and I will see you all in the next video.